you guys having a wonderful Friday afternoon. So we're gonna have some fun video, okay? I have the two motions behind me right now. I have a Brista Express and Lula Bianca. Okay, so it's gonna be an ultimate, the Home Express Motion Showdown. You know, I, I like the title, okay? I like the title, but you know what? I've been using both motion for years. Goodness, I've been uh, using Bianca for over a year now, almost a year. And the uh, IBS3 Bravo Brista Express, using it for, goodness, about three, well, going on four years. And I have to say, okay, I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comment section. If you, have, if you guys have used both machines before, let me know in the comment section because I'm talking about the uh, home, okay, home use. I'm talking about daily home use. So right now, I intentionally, I did not start this machine, okay? I did not start this machine. So I'm, I'm, let me show you how long it's gonna be, okay. Obviously, Bianca is a much, much better machine. Overall quality, beer quality is nice. Shop from, uh, coffee, from uh, coffee from Bianca is much superior than Brista Express. Obviously, it costs a lot more. It takes more space. But again, we are talking about home, okay? Home use for regular people like us. So I'm, I'm going to break down uh, about pros and cons about these two machines and hopefully you are going to make a better decision you know you guys uh, trying to upgrade your machine down the road so again uh, you know what hold on let me flip the camera here so right now everything is a little cold I'm gonna check the temperature right now the group here you are looking at about 77 degree about uh, almost 80 degree here Yep, and the word Bianca is cold as well. It's about 80 degrees because obviously it takes the ambient heat. So anyway, I'm gonna turn on the machine right now. Let's see here, I'm gonna get the timer. That's how long it's gonna take to, <coughs> ready to brew, okay? Start the timer. And then, you, you hear all that? I think my solenoid is going bad here. I can, uh, I can feel it. So right now we are at the 15 second mark. 20. I think usually it takes about 30 seconds to, okay. 30 seconds to start. Heat up the machine. So right now we are at 28, 30 seconds there. Still going. Goodness. There we go. About 40 seconds. So right now, this is kind of like core star, okay, on your car, uh, similar to a core star on your car. There we go, about 40, 40 seconds to start the machine, okay. So now this is ready to brew. Okay, with the Bianca, you're good. I'm gonna start it. And then we have to go up to brew temperature, okay. Brew temperature, I'm looking at around like, around 200 uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's find out how long it's gonna take. So meantime, so this one is, I can start brew the coffee. Just lock it in. I'm gonna do a couple of dummy shots here. And the, you obviously you have a, a different options. You, got, you can do the bottomless pour filter or regular spouted. So this is ready to go, okay? Comes, to, comes with a built-in grinder. I know you guys see, uh, you know, obviously you guys see me with Freestyle Express over the years. I am a big fan of it. Okay, so obviously a little like Bianca. It's gonna take a while. So, and obviously there are two different machines, okay? Complete, and we are talking about comparing apple to orange. This is right now $5.99 for this. And uh, so this is the Lula Bianca version two, I believe. Version three is coming out. And uh, you can get it from, goodness, I got down from uh, Espresso Outlet. And uh, let's find out how much that machine is right now on Joe's place. Hold on. I'm gonna type in Espresso Outlet. Okay, here we go. And then 
for home, copy machines, rotary pump. Okay, Lillet Bianca is on sale right now for 20, about 2,600 bucks. Obviously, version two is, uh, three is coming up, so it's about 26. So you got compared to Freestock Express, you are looking at about 600 bucks. And so not only that, with Lillet Bianca, you need to buy separate grinder on top of that. So obviously you have a lot of different options there for the grinder, Niche, DF64, even Eureka as well. So I mean, you have a lot more options, okay? But again, so this is about 2,600 bucks. You're gonna add another five to $600 for the grinder. Now you're bumping to about $3,000 range. So Brista Express comes with the built-in grinder, about 600 bucks. So here's a big question, okay? I mean, we know which copy machine is better but is ultimately which coffee machine is better suitable for you, okay? Which machine is better suitable for your lifestyle and your budget and also your, and your quality, of, quality of your coffee as well. So having said that, so this one I can actually making, I mean make coffee right now, okay? You know, let's pull the shot, okay? Just for fun, let's pull the shot. And I'm going to be using my built-in grinder. Oh. And then go from there. All right, so I got 18 gram already measured out, ready to go. I'm going to, uh, comes the grinder setting. Uh, I'm just going to set a number six for now. Okay. Put it in there. I mean, I like to do single dose because at least you can control it. Okay, you can control your, kind of like your neck shot, a lot easier to dial in. Again, uh, looking at the Bianca right now, still warming up, so we are at over three minute mark there. I'm just gonna lock it in. Okay, I think I have to do one more. I'm just gonna tap it. Okay. There we go. Again, the grind quality, you know, I mean, it's not the best. That's why I like to do like, you know, WDT to declump everything here on the top. Just like so. Works pretty good. That's it. You're gonna do some, you know, I'm not gonna even do a douche beer. I'm just gonna temp it directly. Just make sure nice and even. So now we are ready to go, okay? You know, I'm gonna add puck screen. Okay, I like to keep my, uh, my clean, shower head clean, so I'm gonna hit up my puck screen there. like so. Let's pull the shot. Let's pull the shot. And the pressure is about, uh, I think it's about 11 bar pressure. Overall shot looks pretty good. Little slow though. I think I have my, I might need some uh, adjustment there, but. Overall shot looks pretty nice. Lots of crema. 
Okay, so let's try the shot. Cheers, guys. It smells pretty good. So this is the Brazil coffee from Brazil. Uh, tasting note is chocolate. Let's see, brown sugar. Okay. Great. Okay. Can beat it. It's not as, it's not hot. Okay. Obviously, it's, I need to play with uh, adjustment, but uh, comes to temperature wise, it's not kind of like lukewarm. Uh, if you want to make this one hotter, obviously you can change the temperature setting and also, uh, you know, do, so this is a thermal block. You just leave it on for a little longer. You can actually make a lot hotter than this one. But again, I mean, start to finish, we are, we are talking about less than five minutes. All right. So here we go. I'm at 175, uh, seven minutes into it. So it's not ready to brew yet. I can definitely feel it's getting hotter right now. I think I'm going to put the potty filter here. I'm going to warm it at the same time. Okay. So right now I'm done with Brista Express. I just got, uh, I just had my uh, morning coffee. With the Bianca, there's no automatic start either. So which means you have to press the button first thing in the morning. Usually it takes about half an hour to fully warm up the E61 group head. By that time, you are ready to go to work. So again, I mean, compared to, I'm just going to, and also, I mean, if you, if you guys want to drink black coffee, get some hot water. Get some hot water here. All right, here we go. Now you can make some delicious long black too, if you guys want to. So now we have a nice long black on the go. So I guess that's something you have to, I mean, that's something you are the only person can answer that question. So do I want to buy a machine that convenient, easy to use versus high quality? Okay. We are talking about high quality machine. So this somewhat people say appliance. Okay. You might be right. Bravery is like, they make awesome appliance. And then now we have kind of like prosumer uh, coffee machine. We are at 10 minute mark. The boiler temperature is not too part yet. So again, uh, I mean, I'd love to hear from you guys. I mean, what you guys are looking for your next home coffee machine. Okay. I mean, if it, even interesting to see. I think that's the reason why I like to show you both machines because not every high-end machine is like better suitable for your lifestyle. Because I mean, it's both coffee machine does job, comes to making coffee. So this one, I say about 80% out of 100%. I say give it about 80. Comes to La Bianca, you know, I mean, that's about 100%, you know, 95 to 100. So with the Bianca, obviously you need to have good grinder to bring up the, you know, quality of your shot. But with Braver, you have the built-in grinder as well. It's not the best, but you know why it's not the worst. Let's see here. Keith has comment there. It's a Keith has, I currently have Brisa Express. Works great. You know, produce great espresso. However, milk steaming, yes. Milk steaming is the problem. Okay. Milk steaming is the problem. Uh, if you are making a lot of milk-based drink, I think I recommend the Pro over Express. I mean, it does the job. If I'm going to start the steaming right now, you got to wait a little bit. Okay. I think you, got, you have to wait about at least, what, 15, 20 seconds? Here, let me see, see here. Now it finally kicks in. Yeah, about 15 seconds. So, uh, comes to back-to-back -back shots. 
I mean, you could do it, but we are talking back to back to back to back. Making milk based drink, it's gonna be a little struggle. Hold on a second. Richard has, hold on, the Richard from France. Bianca is 1900 pounds versus 2120, 2190 in France. And uh, which means uh, about $2,000 versus, makes it a lot cheaper in Europe for Bianca there, isn't it? Goodness. Okay, so hashtag, in my opinion, yeah, I mean, again, no one is dispute, uh, dispute, uh, dispute that Bianca is much, much better co uh, coffee machine. Again, I mean, so it's ultimately what kind of grinder you have. Doesn't matter how, you know, so you need to have a good coffee first, okay? I don't care if you are using $10,000 coffee machine. If you have a crappy coffee, it's going to be crappy uh, coffee. You're going to have a crappy coffee. But if you are using good grinder, good coffee, if you are thinking about upgrading your uh, Bristol Express, uh, upgrade the grinder first, okay? Get the separate grinder. Get a separate grinder, and then you are, uh, you are, comes the espresso, you're going to see the huge increase in your quality. Huge increase in quality. And the ice wolf, you ask me, is your wife choose, you know what? My wife loves the Bravo Brista Pro, okay, over my little Bianca. So I think, yeah, I bet you my wife is going to choose over uh, Pro over Bianca. Okay, I mean, this kind of machine is takes longer okay okay now I'm up to temperature now okay took us about 30 minutes you know let's pull the shot right let's pull the shot from uh, Lele Bianca right now so so with Bristol Express I'm done with it okay I'm by this time 10 minutes I mean I can start to finish in less than five minutes with the Bravo Bristol Express for Lulet Bianca, I'm just start getting into it at about 15 minute mark there. So uh, let's pull the shot on Lulet Bianca. Let's use the, you know, let's use my EK43 for the grinder, okay? Yeah, let's use the EK43. So with built in grinder, takes about what? 18 seconds? 19 seconds to grind 18 gram. With UK43, watch this. That's it. There's no comparison. Here we go. I'm just going to heat up my paper and not the coffee machine here. Uh, for this one, I like to use the puck paper as well. I, uh, I like to get the cleaner taste. I'm just going to wet my paper using my steam one. There we go. I'm just going to lay down the paper. Okay. I'm just going to shake a little. You know what? Hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the quick distribution. Let's do the quick temp here, guys. Let's use the force temper. Uh, again, I'm just going to add, I, I really enjoy using uh, puck screen, so hit on my puck screen first. Here we go. Let's pull the shot.
Okay. Yeah. So again, I'm looking for caramel, not the caramel, chocolate and brown sugar as a tasting note. Coffee from Brazil. Cheers, guys. Smears right. Oh yeah. Again, they're still lukewarm. Okay. The problem is it's not the 15 minutes, the boiler temperature is up to okay. It's up to the temperature. But you have to wait another 15 minutes to at least heat up the uh, all the the E61 group head needs to be warmed up to get even better shots. So again, uh, comes to shot to shot. I say they are slightly better, but not too much. Comes to uh, tasting tasting notes. It all depends on what you guys want. I mean, I know we talk about you know which coffee machine is the better for you, and be, you know which machine is the best. What is the best grinder? And ultimately, you know, kind of like which coffee machine is best fit into your lifestyle. And you know, and, uh, I, I, it's a, I mean, I, I, I love to hear your thoughts on that, guys. I love to hear your thoughts. Uh, hold on, it's a Richard mentioned about the Eureka Zero as a grinder. It's about four hundred nine euros, about four hundred and thirty-two dollars there. Compared to special leader is 481. You know what? Man, I'm telling you, Richard, you guys are a lot cheaper because special leader in US, about 600 bucks, the US dollars. So a huge price difference between uh, zero versus uh, special leader. So as far as I know, this country, the US, I think Eureka is going to the launch price around four hundred dollar range for the the Eureka Zero. I mean that's kind of like we'll see what happens there. But yeah, I mean I, I'm 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 hoping. Okay, I'm hoping around four hundred dollar range. Let's see here. I think I, I'm looking at your live questions right now. Okay, uh, Victor asks, uh, Bravo Infusion or Lele Bianca or Decent. Also, another great question too. You know what? If money is not an issue, okay? If money money is not an issue, I think I'll go with the Bianca. Because I love, I mean, I love the, you know, kind of like the look and feel of it. But if you like to play with different coffee recipes and experiment with your coffee, obviously decent is great. But if you just want a good coffee in the morning, yeah, stick with the infuser and then set up, uh, set up with a good grinder. You're going to make some really nice coffee. So, I mean, there is a, the price point for everybody. And that, that's a great thing about, uh, you know, coffee is your hobby there. So, yeah, I mean, again, I mean, let me know, okay? I mean, let me know your thoughts on it because... Uh, you don't have to have high-end coffee grinder or high-end coffee machine to make a good coffee in the morning. I think that's the reason why I like to show you that, kind of like showcase uh, both machines here. Entry level, this is, this is entry level as you get. So this is kind of like someone's like, it's called, people talk about end game, which means the last coffee machine you're gonna buy. Bianca with the EK43, goodness, I mean, they are good as you get. Okay, they're good as you get there. All right, I think we are pretty good on the, hold on a second, you got a lot. The Matt asked me, what is your opinion on super automatic? I'm not a big fan of super automatic. I, fact is, I have no opinion on it. Yeah, because, I mean, I like to, I, mean, I like to make my own coffee, okay. Uh, Timur asked me about the uh, Bravo ex uh, Brewster Express Impress. Fact is, I'm not that impressed with Impress because I mean, they're like Bravo Brewster Express with, you know, self levering temper. That's it. So, yeah. Uh, Timur asked, are there sale? Um, yes, uh, there is. Uh, the Pro is on sale right now. If you guys uh, want to know, I'm going to put the link down below. They're selling $100 off from Amazon right now as we speak. So they're selling for $7.99. Okay, $7.99. Wait, $6.99. 
Okay, so it's about hundred dollar difference between. So five ninety nine for the Express, six ninety nine for the uh, Pro. So it's about hundred dollar difference there. I think I go with uh, Pro for the, the price difference, definitely. Dogman twenty say uh, twenty two say uh, Breach Like Express is the end game. Coffee machine for him? I think so. Okay, I think it's definitely Breach Like Express is pretty good uh, machine for the price. Matt say, what is the best place on the internet to shop coffee? Oh goodness, it all depends on what you're looking for. Obviously, Amazon is pretty convenient. You can return it within 30 days. So I mean, I, I love the, the easy return policy on Amazon, but obviously they got the whole latte love, Seattle coffee gear. If you are looking for some high-end machines, I like to sm uh, support a smaller company like uh, Joe. Uh, Espresso Outlet is pretty good. Okay. And if you are living in Canada, the eight ounce coffee, man, talking about eight ounce coffee, they have everything. If you think of, they got, uh, they got them all. So they are huge. So yeah. Again, just make sure shop around though. You can shop around the pricing, different pricing, but yeah. I think about the same price. Doesn't matter where you go. But so look for the customer service and also what kind of return policy they have. All right, folks, I hope you guys are having a, I hope this video helps. Okay, I really do. Because, I mean, if you are thinking about buying a new coffee machine right now, let's say if you have uh, Express at home, definitely start with a better grinder first and see what you like. And because I don't want to spend a lot of money uh, you know, uh, something like this, like Bianca, set you back, what, 25 plus grinder, that's $3,000. So instead of sp spending three grand, keep the express, get a better grinder and see what happens there. And then if you really enjoying the whole workflow and the process, and now you can uh, spend money on your, your next coffee machine. So you don't waste three grand. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to check one last time. Uh, Yoda asking me, have you thought of Flare 58? I, I have not used it yet. Actually, I did use a few times. I have a video on that as well on my channel. Okay, Flare 58 is pretty good. For the price, 58 millimeter polyfilter makes great coffee. So you can't complain. Again, what kind of grinder you have there? Just make sure you get a uh, gr uh, nice grinder matched up with. I think I think I felt like I think I answered all your questions. Uh, don't forget, guys, Mother's Day in a couple of days now. I still have the coupon code from uh, San Antonio Industry. That's good till tomorrow. Get twenty percent off entire their uh, web store. So make sure to check it out as well. I mean, they never go on sale, so. All right, I'm going to see you guys in about, you know, I'll be back later, okay? I'm going to be back later. Uh, we're going to brew some more coffee.